Blockchain developer. It is one of the high paying jobs worldwide and is going to become one of the most demanding job roles in the coming future. And it is possible to become one in just a few months if you are ready to put in the effort. But if you are also struggling to get the perfect roadmap to become a blockchain developer, then watch this video till the end. Hello everyone, this is Atisha, Developer Advocate at Arcana and today in this video we are going to discuss all about how to become a blockchain developer, where, wherein we will be talking about the role of a blockchain developer, what are the average salary packages and the tools and skills required. And if you are new here and haven't become a part of the amazing community of Arcana, do join our Discord, the link of which is given in the description box down below. Let's first talk a bit about the role of a blockchain developer. So blockchain developers are software developers who make use of the unique features of the blockchain technology. There are generally two types of blockchain developers, core blockchain developers and blockchain software developers. So core blockchain developers work directly on building a new or improving an existing blockchain. They are majorly responsible for developing and maintaining the architecture of a blockchain system. However, the blockchain software developers are responsible for building decentralized applications on the top of an existing blockchain, like on top of Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, etc. They are responsible for building the front-end, back-end design and the maintenance. Close to 90% of developers are blockchain software developers. And core blockchain development is a bit tougher. That's why it's always recommended to first start with blockchain software development. And today in this video, we are going to focus on the roadmap to become a blockchain software developer. Now, if we have a look at the average salary packages of a blockchain developer, it's around 90K to 150K USD per annum. Yes, you heard it right. And it is considered to be one of the top 10 highest paying jobs in 2022 by LinkedIn. Now let's discuss the skills that are required to become a full stack blockchain developer. So for the skills, we'll separately be talking about the skills required for front end, back end, and the understanding of the libraries that are required to make both of them interact. But before that, let's also talk about some of the prerequisites before actually jumping into the development part. The very first thing you should start with is the fundamentals of blockchain. Like what is blockchain, what is crypto, uh, smart contracts, consensus, transaction, gas fees, some basics of cryptography, the overall blockchain architecture, etc. Second, if you are not from a web to background, the understanding around how databases work, how front end interacts with the back end would be really very useful. Otherwise, you might have some hard time understanding where the blockchain fits in and why do we need to use certain libraries in order to interact with the blockchain. Third would be to get a basic understanding of how wallets work. Like why do we need to use wallets? What are key pairs? What happens when you make a transaction? And this can be done without going into actual development part by just playing around uh, buying some cryptocurrency, buying some NFTs or transferring funds and then going on the blockchain explorer and seeing how those transactions are executed, what all details it has, etc. Once you are done with the prerequisites, it's time to get your hands dirty into the development part. So let's first talk about the skills that are required for backend. So when we say uh, backend, you will be majorly working towards building smart contracts that will store the business logic and the related state of your application. You can think of a smart contract replacing backend component in a regular application. For writing the smart contracts, you will initially have to choose a blockchain. And most of the developers go ahead with EVM compatible chains like Ethereum, Polygon, etc. And for that, you will have to learn the programming language called Solidity. And in order to write the smart contracts, you can use the amazing framework called Hardhat, which lets you write, test, compile and deploy your smart contracts. You can use Truffle as well as an alternative. And even before going to Hardhat, you can make use of Remix, which is an open source tool which lets you code your smart contracts, test it out on a web browser. And once you are comfortable with it, you can do the actual development on Hardhat. And if you want to code in Python on EVM compatible chains, you can go ahead with learning 
viper and in that particular scenario you will be using the framework called brownie instead of hard hat also keep in mind that if you are planning to build on other blockchains you will have to learn their respective programming languages for example if you are planning to build on solana you will have to learn rust another important thing to keep in mind while building smart contracts is to make sure that you test your smart contracts well before actually deploying them on the main network you can try out its different functionalities by either deploying it on any of the test network or on local development network for example our hardhat gives you the ability to spin up your local ethereum node to test your smart contracts and in case of truffle you can make use of ganache the reason behind that is when you deploy your smart contract on a public blockchain you will have to pay money in the form of gas fees and once any of the transaction or any of the smart contract has been published on the blockchain no changes can be made to it now if we talk about the skills that are required for front end blockchain development so if you are going for web development you will have to have basic knowledge of html css javascript and you can choose between any of the frameworks like react view or swift and if you are going for mobile app development you will have to learn native ios or android development or you can also go ahead with cross platform development frameworks like flutter or react native though not all the companies require the blockchain developers to know front end as well but if you know front end it would be easier for you to build full fledged dapps and you would be able to see how everything function as a whole so by now you would know the programming language required for writing a smart contracts that is back end and also how to code up the front end the one last thing that is left is how to make both the front and the back end interact and for that particular purpose you will have to choose between any of these two most popular javascript libraries etherjs and web3js so if your application requires you to read or write to the blockchain from the client then you would have to use any of these libraries and in order to interact with the blockchain such as signing messages sending transactions you would either have to set up your own wallet such as metamask wherein you would have to manage your keys or you can use arcana's auth sdk wherein you can let your dapp users to log in via social or passwordless authentication and it comes in with a wallet so your dapp users won't have to set up any wallet or manage their keys because all of that is done by arcana and also if your dapp requires distributed storage you can definitely check out arcana's storage sdk great so by now you would be ready to build your full fledged decentralized applications so you can give one one month each for learning the front end and the back end development and make sure to build small projects on them individually and then in the third month go ahead and start building your dapps and make sure to show everything that you are doing to the world by building in public you can also take part in communities or dao to get your doubts clarified and once you are done with it you can start participating in hackathons trying out different tech stacks and frameworks and you should be good to go just make sure that you take one step at a time don't hurry it might take you more than 3 months to achieve the same thing depending on your learning curve so whatever you are learning just learn it right and build as much as you can initially it might look terrifying but once you are in it you will start enjoying it Also if you want us to make a video on how to get a job quickly as a blockchain developer then do let us know in the comment section down below that's all for this video if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future